Seafood, fish, whatever you call it, I just love, love fish, and we all should be eating more of it. Now this is a bass. They call it a sea bass because it's actually farmed in Europe, in Greece, in salt water lakes. Uh, and so it is, to all intents and purposes, a sea bass, but it's not a wild sea bass. Wild sea bass is incredibly expensive to buy. This is not. This is about three fifty, four pound a fish, which is not bad when you consider you get two fillets. Lovely, rich, creamy, gorgeous fish. And in one of my other clips, you'll see the bass fillet on the noodle, uh, the base of noodles with stir fry noodles with a hollandaise sauce. Really good. This is the the way you fillet a fish. When you buy fish, look at the eyes. They should be shining. The skin should be wet and slimy. It should be fairly pliable and not stiff. Rigor mortis, etc. This is about three days old from catching. Prox. Probably four. And it's lovely. And it, the flesh should be... It should bounce back when you, when you press it like that. Okay. Take the head off. It's been descaled already. Ouch. Watch your fingers. Take the head off. Nice chunky knife for that. Now, leave the guts in. Use a filleting knife, one of these flexible ones. They're brilliant. And then just press the flesh with the palm of your hand and find the backbone, which is there, and go just above it. And the knife's got to be really sharp. And then just ease the fillet off the bone, like that. You get to the to the hump in the middle there. Get yourself over that. At this point, when you're just over halfway through, you put the knife through the tail end there, like that, and then you turn the fish round, and you put your, finger, your hand on top of the fillet with your thumb and your little finger above so you don't cut yourself, health and safety of course, and then pressing the knife against the bone little wiggle here and there, and you go right to the top, and that should come off with all the bits and pieces fairly easily. So you don't bother to gut this fish. Now, you get the knife underneath that line of bones, and you go down to here, and you go straight down like that, that cuts all that off, and you're left with a fairly boneless. There are a few bones left in here. I wouldn't worry about them. They're big enough to see. I got a bone stuck in my throat once, age seven or eight, when I was at prep school. And matron didn't care. Get out the violins. I was all right. Anyway, there we are. There's your wonderful bass fillet. Now you can you can oven bake it and then turn it over and grill it and get that skin all crunchy, and it's delicious. Now I'll do the other side. Slightly more difficult to do but exactly the same process. Actually I'm going to show you another way of doing this. I did start it off on the backbone there but just do it straight from the tail like that. Pressing hard and you press the knife down. It's got to be a flexible knife and then it goes, it stays flat on the bone. Hand safely placed on the, on the fillet. Just check, yes we're above the backbone. Keep going. It's a bit difficult. Watch it. If you want to watch your safety aspect of this, there we are. We just got caught on the bone. Straight across there. Nice and nice and good, brave strokes. And then remember this. Get under those bones there. At that angle to there. Cut because that's all fat. You don't want that. And you're left with this beautiful. Bass fillet. Now those two, I'll have those two as a main course, okay, it costs four quid, but it's worth it because this is the most beautiful fish. Really lovely flavour, goes well with ginger and garlic and things oriental. There we are.